Welcome back to Homegrown Wife. Today, let's check out how we feed and water our pigs. Okay, I think I got them all off doing other things. Hopefully we'll keep their attention away from the camera and the tripod. But um, I had some questions on how we put together the IBC tilt and my husband did it. He is getting ready for harvest and he's the mechanic for our harvesting business. So he didn't have a whole lot of time. He would have liked to do some things different, but for now this is how he did it. We'll pull you. So if you see here, there's a two by four that runs up and down and then one that runs across. And you just cut the plastic and then and this one actually is a thinner this is a thinner plastic than some of our other ones so we didn't realize that that was a thing until after we cut this one but we have the two by four and then across the bottom and two one going up each side. So we screwed the two by four in here and here and then along the bottom he screwed it from the inside down in. Don't ask me how he did it. I actually wasn't even home when he did that. So we have seen that there's an issue with the water that comes down these um, these indented areas of the tote and so far we haven't had a major major rains so I've just come in and scooped out the little bit of wet and it hasn't gotten rotten the thing I want to do in the next couple days is pull up some old tin and make a, plat a platform that can be put on top. Pig, 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 pig. It's not dinner. So when it comes to putting the feed in, we just take and pour the five gallon bucket in and then once we're all done filling it, we just push in what the feed is. Um, as far as what we feed our pigs, we, we do a low corn, low soy feed that we have a guy that I think he's like within 30 miles of us that grinds it and mixes it for us and tomorrow morning actually my husband will be going to get more. With these guys right now, we only fill it about halfway just for the fact that weighed out so that it goes empty the night before we I want them move and then um, then they're good and hungry the next day when we bring it back down and we move it because I'll take it up to the house and fill it up by the house where we keep the grain and then we bring it back down and they will usually follow wherever this goes into the next paddock. These guys can still fit their head through, but at least these bigger ones here are to the point they can't get their whole body in there. If there's any other questions you guys have about our IBC tote feeder, our water, how we water, I'm going to show you actually how we water here in a second because I have to fill their water tank again. So we have a banjo adapter that's on a hose that goes down to the Milwaukee transformer 
That's uh, M18. <laughs> Open that up. Turn it on. And then we pump it into the barrel. One thing we do a lot around here is use what's laying around. And we have been truly blessed by neighbors. Because both the IBC tote and these blue barrels we've gotten free from neighbors that have had them sitting around. And then we just put the nipple waters in there. and built a little stand. When I had it without the stand, they had a wallow about 10 feet around it. So we put the stand in. They still don't like to drink out of, they still don't like to stand on the platform and drink though, so. They're making a big mess anyway. This is the area that the Berkshires were in when they were first out in these paddocks in July. So the two big ones before the little ones were weaned cleared out quite a bit. This is also how I will get them a wallow. Let me We have 85 to 90 degree weather for the next few days. It looks like it's supposed to at least be dry. Not super humid. Here in west central Minnesota, even if it's dry and hot, it will become humid because the corn is giving off. guys down there just drinking off of that. We do have names for the Berkshires and then I have one down here. The one that was is the furthest pink one is Big White. And then I have two actually that are up by the house because so they're up by the house and we'll do a little preview of them guys too, because they're fun to watch. Most of the paddocks we have space that we can actually reach the water from from our hydrant so we don't have to bus water out. This one is the furthest from the hydrant so we bus water out to it and then also with the base on my tank here I can't move it from paddock to paddock up inside the woods as easily. There are a few things that I already wish we would have done different and one of the things I wish we would have done different was put gates in a few of the pens to the south closer to the house so that we could easily move the piglet pigs up to the house or near the house if we need to doctor them like we need to do right now with the other one. We actually had to pick them up and carry them. They're small enough that we could do that still, but that's not gonna last all summer long, so. They are tearing up this part of 
the paddock, which I'm really not too concerned about, other than when we come through to reseed again. But I think we're going to hand seed anything we reseed from there on here on out anyway. The reason I'm not too concerned, as you can see, they still have about 80 feet from where they're at making this big hole to the end of the paddock. So this is the little hut we have them in. It's underneath in the woods where it's nice and shaded. I did previously have them in that area right over there, but there's no shade during the day. So that was a big part in why I chose to move them here. So we need to water them and then they have their feed, their little hut, and then they're living in this area. Yeah, they're just at the front of the grove and then back there is the pasture. So if you come this way a little bit, we might be able to see the fence line for the paddock. They're following me. But you can see right up here, there's the fence line for the paddocks that the other pigs are in. The other pigs are actually, where am I at? Way over there, way over there are the other piglets right now. And then this is actually paddock four right in front of us. And five is down here. Come on, boys. Come on. Big, 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 big. <laughs> I wish you could see what it looks like when there are seven pigs trying to eat a tripod. And one took it away.